looks like we're finally getting a theme of isekai in the world of Yu-Gi-Oh! Smash the love and crab that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. So, Brave Token theme. You're the main character of your own fantasy world is how we're starting this off. So, Brave Token. A, the Yusho Token, which would in any other game be called a hero token, but we'd rather avoid infinite questions about this. So it can be used for vision hero adoration. <laughs> All right, well, that, that's kind of cute. So our first card here is Ritual of Armi Armisi. So basically it's just how we do this. So you can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. You cannot activate the effects of monster you control the turn you activate this effect, except for special summon monsters. I just want to point out that it actually says monster there and not monsters. All right, so there's that. If you control no brave token, special summon one brave token. All right, you're a fairy earth level four with 2,000 attack, 2,000 defense. Then if you do not control Journey of Destiny, you can place one from your deck face up in your spell and trap card. Oh my god, this is literally just an isekai. I love this already. Okay. So, all right. This is everything I wanted it to be and more. Next up, we got Magicite Warrior of the Ruins. So this is a level four fire monster with 2,300 attack points. Hello? That's pretty good. So you can only use the first third effects of this card's name once per turn. So if you control a brave token, you can special summon this card from your hand. So we get to deploy... I just want you guys to also know that we can Rona for this. I just need to re-say that here. Cannot attack if you control no brave tokens. Okay, there's fine. If your monster that specifically lists brave token in its text, oh uh, yeah, if, if your monster that specifically lists brave token in its text battles at the end of the battle phase, you can set one spell or trap card from your deck that specifically lists brave token in its text from your deck to your spell and trap card zone. This is a lot of freaking generation here, actually. That is not bad. It's kind of interesting, actually. Next up here, we got Wandering Griffin Rider. This is a 2,200. Okay, so during the main phase, if you control no monsters, or if you control a brave token, you can special summon this card from your hand. When a card or effect that active is activated and you control a brave token, you can shuffle this card into your deck, and if you do negate that activation, if you destroy that card. Okay, that's pretty good. It's basically a free negation. Just deployable for literally free. Okay. <laughs> I Sure, man. All right, next up here, we got Journey of Destiny. Continue a spell card. During your main phase, you can add one card that specifically lists Brave Token in its text from your deck to your hand, and then send one card from your hand to the graveyard. <laughs> um, that is really good. If a monster is normal or special summon, you can add to your hand or equip one Brave Token you control with one equip spell card that specifically lists Brave Token in its text from your deck. I'm freaking in love with this archetype already. The first time your monster equipped with a equip card will be destroyed by battle each turn. It is not destroyed. Okay. So, wow. A one, once per turn searchers are busted. All right, our equip spell card here. Noble Arms of Light. All right, we're doing this. Equip only to a monster you control. You can only use the third effect of this card's name once per turn. So you can only control one Noble Arms of Light, Deno, once. Okay. Equip monster gains 500 attack for each card to control with different names that specifically list Brave Token in its text. If this card is sent to the graveyard and target one Brave Token you control, equip this card to that card. Hmm. 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 Uh, it's got Noble Arms in the name. We're automatically off to the races here. All right. That's uh, that's interesting. All right. We'll take that. And then we got the Starlit Papillion. Equip only to a card. Or, mo or yeah. Only equip to a card you control. You only use third Vegas card's name once per turn. You can only control one of these. Monster your opponent controls lose 500 attack for each card you control with different names that specifically list Brave Token in its text. If this card sends a graveyard, you can target one Brave Token you control. Equip this card to that card. Okay. I guess. We're going to have to play the bad equips, I guess. But I guess that's fine. Draco back the Dragon Steed. 
So equip only to a monster you control, you can only use the second or third effects of this card's name once per turn. So you can only control one of these. While this card is equipped to a non-effect monster, you can target one card your opponent controls returned to the hand. And if, cards, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target a brave token you control and equip this card to that card. Hmm. All right. Our field spell. Zarzom, the Dark Temple. While you control a monster equipped with Noble Arms of Light, Denal, your opponent can either activate card or effect during the battle phase. Okay, once per turn, when your brave token destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. Okay, that's fine. Once per turn, if you activated this card's second effect, you can add one field spell that specifically lists brave token and its text from your deck or graveyard to your hand. I'm having Dream Mirror vibes here, and I don't really like that. Okay. Next up here, we got the Woods of Lost Flowers. Okay, your monster equipped with Starlit Papillion are unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. Once per turn, when your Brave Token destroys an opponent's monster by value, you can draw one card. Okay. And let's see here. If you activated this card's second effect, let's turn you and add one field spell that specifically lists Brave Token's text from your deck or graveyard to your hand. This card's third effect was incorrect. Oh. Okay, as to having no limitation on how many times it could be activated a turn. Its text was updated both in the news page and shown in the errata page. Well, that's interesting, actually. Okay. Let's see here. So we've got Thunder Discharge. If you control a brave token, target one monster equipped with... Target one of your monsters equipped with an equipped card. And specifically, this brave token's text destroy as many monsters your opponent controls with equal or lower attack as possible. Then you can equip one spell that specifically lists brave token in its text from a hand or graveyard to an appropriate monster you control. Okay, that's interesting, I guess. And then down here, our last one is Resurrection Breath. If we control a Brave Token, special to summon up to two monsters with different names from your hand and or graveyard, but banish them when they leave the field. Then you can equip one equip spell card that specifically lists Brave Token in its text from your hand or graveyard to an appropriate monster you control. Okay. My first complaint about this is the first one that chat just brought up is there's not enough token generation here. Um, this spell card, Ritual of Armesia, is your only real way to make a token. And you're going to essentially have to maintain that token. Do we, do we get Journey? Yeah, we did get Journey of Destiny. So we did get that, but we don't have an effective way to search for ritual, do we? Um, this deck, though, here's an interesting thought, though. If they give this deck a link one for any generic monster that gives you the ability to summon a link token or to summon a brave token, I guarantee you that this archetype would be literal gas to the floor. All they need to do is give this a link one that restricts you into being able to only special summon stuff within this archetype while it's on the field and gives you access to ritual or the ability to summon a token, this archetype will be gassed to the floor. But a link one is all it's going to take, truthfully. All right, but of course they always hold back one to two good cards, but this archetype has potential. So what do you guys think about this pretty interesting archetype so far? Please leave a comment down below to tell me what you guys think. Smash it all the crap out, subscribe so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. And of course, I will see your beautiful faces back here later on in the day with some more cool awesome content. Peace out. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end. Without you guys' support, well, I would probably be doing Trouble Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanco 40 for all of your Cardfight Vanguard content brought to you by Mco 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcogames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.